this has been a passion for me for about the last eight years. And over and over and over again, we've worked to try to get the changes at Shote only to be shut down uh, every single time that we had recommendations. This time we're offering them in writing. So um, as the minority spokesperson uh, now of the Senate Behavioral and Mental Health Committee, I've had the privilege of having a lot of good conversations with, uh, with the chair of behavioral uh, and mental health, uh, Senator Fine. And I know that those conversations will continue. She's been very open to these ideas, and I look forward to continuing to, uh, to do that. Um, she also uh, cares deeply about the residents of Shote and even recently uh, visited the facility along with Representative LaPointe. Uh, so they, they are coming to the facility and looking things over. We had specific asks at the facility while, uh, the, while, while Representative LaPointe and Senator Fine were there, um, was also joined by Representative Jacobs. There were specific things we asked to happen. Those have not happened, and that was several months ago. Uh, as the uh, previous uh, speakers have indicated, this isn't a partisan issue. This is an issue we take seriously, and in fact, uh, I know we heard back from a couple of the committee chairs indicating their interest and willingness to work on next steps. I look forward to working closely with them and hope we can soon get hearings scheduled to get the answers that the residents deserve, as well as the general public and the family members there. Uh, besides uh, uh, that, um, we've also heard from our colleagues already um, that are here today uh, because we're greatly concerned about the future of Shote, which provides essential services to roughly, and you've already heard it, 270 residents. Uh, it's a little bit more than that, but right at 270, with mental impairments and uh, developmental uh, disabilities. Everyone up here understands just how critical this facility is, not only for the residents, but for their families who rely on the center to look after their loved ones. I, in fact, have three uh, residents of Shote that I'm very close to and very close to their family members. Uh, just like all of Southern Illinois, very often we are either related or very closely aligned with each other. So it's I'm a passion that isn't just because I'm a senator. I'm a passion because one of the one of the men that lives there, I babysat almost from the day he was born, and so uh, very close ties to them. Over the past few years, there have been incidents that have taken place that have disgusted everyone. But we can't we can't just throw up our hands uh, and uh, say like in defeat that we want to shut it down because the residents and their families need the facility. We need the facility uh, in Southern Illinois. I know the governor on more than one occasion has said, and the, the quote that I remember is, if they cannot fix the problems, then I will shut down Shout. He and his administration are the they. It's their responsibility right now to make sure that these changes are made. We're here to help them. We have a plan that they could implement very quickly, like today, start the process of doing that. All of us, uh, and the, as the entire legislature, are um, here to offer our assistance in this process. In fact, Rep Meyer, as I said, just laid out the, the plan. They're good ideas, they're practical ideas, they're common sense ideas. Today is the time for action. It's time for solution-based plan. Um, because of, uh, at the end of the day, we all want what's best for the residents of Shote as their home. And the best way of ensuring uh, that is holding public hearings, bringing every, everything and everyone into the light, and implementing solutions. 